Forest is very important when we are talking about uh, climate change. Forest uh, is one of the uh, areas or sector that uh, mitigates climate change and also to adapt uh, to climate change. Forests are very important for biodiversity, as we all know. Uh, it consists of the, the flora and fauna, which is very important for protecting biodiversity and also for, for uh, carbon uh, sequestration. Uh, when we talk about uh, the uh, gases that are emitted into the atmosphere, uh, forests capture all um, gases that are emitted. So forest is very important when you're talking about to mitigate climate change, we need forest that captures uh, those uh, gases that are emitted, especially carbon dioxide emitted to the atmosphere. Uh, Red Plus program in Fiji uh, commenced uh, in the initial discussion in 2009, where uh, Fiji has been engaging in negotiation under the UNFCCC uh, on discussing how Red Plus can be one of those uh, areas that can be uh, used for mitigating climate change. Uh, we know that uh, the world, uh, throughout the world, it consists of 15% of emissions that are coming from forest, through forest uh, deforestation and forest degradation. Uh, however, that is why in Fiji that uh, we have engaged in, um, in a Red Plus program, so that we can be able to uh, reduce our emissions, uh, from the forest sector and also can be able to mitigate other sectors as well uh, for forest. So in Fiji we have uh, uh, submitted a uh, proposal, uh, the emissions reduction proposal to World Bank other, under the Forest Carbon Partnership Facility and uh, it was accepted in uh, 2014 and the letter of intent was signed in 2015 where Fiji receives 3.8 million for financing its uh, Red Plus readiness program. Uh, so 3.8 million was uh, given by the World Bank to uh, conduct its Red Plus readiness program implementation from 2015 to 2020. At the same time, Fiji is uh, producing its emissions reductions program which we will identify uh, through the reports from our uh, emissions reduction program, the interventions Fiji is going to make from 2020 to 2024. Intervention through uh, the forest, reducing emissions in the forest. Fiji has also uh, developed its uh, Red Plus policy in 2010 and also has uh, conducted awareness on Red Plus. At the moment, Fiji has a pilot site in Emalu, which consists of 7,000 hectares, where it's conducting its Red Plus activities. And there are lessons learned from the pilot sites, uh, which will uh, enable the Red Plus implementation for the national. Fiji is one of those countries uh, that uh, are working on Red Plus that are uh, conducting the national Red Plus program and also the, the sub-national program. Our pilot site consists of 7,000 hectares in Navosa. We have uh, 7,000 hectares of the Abusa Emalu uh, where our Red Plus uh, activities are being undertaken. Prior to uh, the work that is uh, conducted at uh, Malu, we uh, uh, seek the, uh, the approval of the landowners that we are going to conduct the Red Plus. And there were studies that were undertaken on uh, the uh, important uh, specific of the areas, which includes social uh, studies. Uh, looking at um, rare species of birds, 
and animals in the area and working with the Emalu landowners in uh, developing a land use uh, that will uh, benefit them in terms of uh, the future uh, work that needs to be done on the pilot site. At the moment, uh, we are working with the Matangali Amalu on um, looking at what are the alternative livelihoods that are going to be uh, conducted to reduce their dependent, over dependence on forests. We have developed a land use and encourage them to uh, work with them uh, to uh, conduct reforestation programs, which mean planting of uh, species, uh, trees, also some of those um, tree species that provide uh, uh, food security, and also looking at uh, how they can uh, uh, be able to um, uh, plant food that will benefit them. There are other activities as well uh, that are conducted at the pilot site, which includes uh, beekeeping, uh, uh, production of honey. Uh, also, they have uh, benefited through uh, the planting of vegetables, where we worked with the Department of Agriculture in um, uh, conducting agroforestry in those areas uh, that they think uh, and also plan from the land use to conduct agroforestry projects. Uh, also we have looked at the uh, conservation of uh, areas where they have uh, specific animals. Uh, at the moment uh, the area uh, is uh, significant for uh, the uh, nanai uh, insect which uh, um, emerge after eight years of incubation. So the area at Amalu is very important in conserving uh, this rare species uh, in, uh, in Fiji and also at the pilot site. They've also conserved the forest uh, in terms of uh, preserving it and also looking at um, ways, other alternatives where they can benefit uh, from the forest uh, with partnering with the Red Plus uh, project uh, so that beyond 2020 there is opportunity from the carbon funds. Uh, at the moment we are working with them in uh, building nurseries, uh, working with them in uh, awareness on, um, on uh, reducing uh, uh, fires that are often uh, uh, burnt while uh, while uh, looking for new areas for hunger culture. We've also looked at ways of uh, assisting them with uh, fencing of animals that uh, roam around uh, in their villages. And there are a lot of um, opportunities or results that we have seen over the years um, after the, uh, before the engagement of the Red Plus project, there has been um, a lot of uh, degradation for, uh, from land degre uh, degradation that has been planted uh, over the years. Uh, after the Red Plus project, they have uh, now benefited through the hunger culture products, they are uh, vegetables, they have uh, now abundance of uh, cabbages, of tomatoes, uh, and they have planted sandalwood as well. Uh, to be able to include agroforestry in their programs. They, after uh, the fires, they were now found out that um, the reduction of fires and burning of uh, grasslands uh, after the awareness on uh, strategies to put in place to reduce fires, they have found that uh, most of the areas have regrown, a lot of regrowth back into the degraded grasslands. Uh, also, they have identified specific areas that were very important in terms of uh, uh, the fish that is coming out from the rivers, in terms of the nanai, that, uh, that uh, a particular insect that is found in the areas of forest they managed to conserve.